When the quilt is done, it has to come out on the fence so I can really see the whole effect. And I love it. There's really no problem that more thread can't fix. My first big day for sewing was I just had had enough with taking my jeans to the tailor. So I bought a sewing machine. I had no idea how to use it. A friend of mine said, oh, I'm taking a quilting class. I'm like, all right, I'll come with you. I'll learn how to use the machine. And now I've been quilting for seven years. The other half of my life is that I'm an EMT, the EMS lieutenant, and a fire commissioner. So we are volunteers who handle the emergency response in our town. One of the big days for me in any project is taking all the fabrics I've chosen and starting to lay them out. I have quilts in every stage of fabrication at any given time because on some days I'm going to want to just play with the colors of the fabric and then on other days I want to actually cut the fabric and sew it together into the pattern that the quilt top will be and then on other days I really feel like playing with my Q20 to free motion an entire large piece of the quilt. Also with the Q20 it has a feature that lets me hand write and the cool thing is it actually comes out looking like my handwriting. So in order to be completely in your quilt zen mode every day, you have to have projects in different stages. A big day for me is the day that I get to gift it. This quilt that is finished is going to be gifted to a friend of mine who is also a first responder. And I love to imagine that this person is going to have the quilt and will be wrapping themselves up in that quilt. That makes me the happiest. It's a big, big day, yeah.